Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Kind of Funny Games. My name is Colin. This is Nick. Nick. Yes. Today. Yes. We're going to play. Lay it on me. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. What happened to him? I have no idea. Where'd he go? I couldn't tell you. Can you spoil it for me right now? Can't do that. Let's get into it. Uh, so uh, we played it just for like two seconds just to test the audio, which hopefully is okay. I like how the game says this when you start it. This game is a narrative experience that does not, that does not hold your hand which I think is so cool. And, in fact, uh, we'll have this little intro sequence that kind of explains a little bit about what's going on, but not much. Um, but I have to tell you that I'm quite fond of the name of the game. Eat the Banishing of Ethan Carter? I think it's a really cool name. And I was telling Kevin, I think it would have been even stronger if it was just called The Vanishing. Right. Uh, but I like the idea, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I think it's a really dope name. The game is from a Polish studio called The Astronauts. Uh, the head of that studio is a really experienced indie dev, uh, or uh, just developer, rather. His studio now is indie. I, he worked on Bulletstorm and a few other games. Um, but I've been really excited to try this game for a while. It came out on PC uh, in 2014, um, and it is now available on PlayStation 4. Presumably, it will be available on Xbox One and other consoles and other places soon, uh, but who the hell really knows. But uh, I've been meaning to play it for a while. I'm glad to finally have the opportunity to do it, and we're just going to see what happens. It's a detective game, like an, like just an adventure game. So we're not Ethan Carter, obviously. He's vanished. No, we're not. We're, we are not Ethan Carter. But we are some sort of powerful medium. Indeed, and I feel like I have to just go in here and do this real quick. What are you doing? What are you doing? Inverting. Yeah. It's the right way to do it, everyone. Don't, don't, let, like Tim that, or, don't let Tim or Kevin tell you otherwise. If you want to play inverted, play inverted. You do you, I'll do me, and Kevin will do whatever Kevin wants to do. Kevin's going to do what he wants to do anyway. So Kevin and I are going to get some Del Taco food when we're in SoCal. Oh. What the sh... That looks ominous. What are you in... Sense. What does that mean? You just... You're looking... Is it like... Is something happening? I'm holding down the X button. Sense it. Well, maybe look at it. Trap. Trap. Just jump in. See what happens. See what happens to your feet. It won't let me. Okay, All right. So the trap there. And so the controls are really simple. Uh, you can use circle to crouch, and then R2, I'm playing on PS4, to run. And then uh, L1 to kind of, I think you use L1, or no, L2 to look. Okay. That's basically it. And then you use the sticks to control, obviously. That's it. Bit. You're not like fighting anyone or shooting anything? Don't think so. So let's head back to, we'll run back over here to the train track. That The tunnel we came from is right there. We'll see if there's anything else around here of interest as we... Move through. The game looks pretty. It is very pretty. I like the smoky haze of it. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you're saying. So there's a path here. The sun is over here. Let's go this way. Let's run down the path here. Alright. Don't fall off a cliff. Oh, it's pretty. Reminds me of upstate New York. Maybe you're in upstate New York. Could be. So I can't go off the cliff in case you're curious. I was, wondering I was, if I could I was actually myself. waiting for you to just to kind of tumble down. And then the whole game starts over again. It's like, we're not holding your hand. So the trees that were blocking us Mary. are going this way. I want to see if there's anything back here for us to find. I'm most interested. Wow, this game really is just wide open and not telling you anything. I, I think I dig that. And it is pretty. It's not like the most gorgeous game in the world, but it's definitely got an ambience to it's it. It's pretty? Like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah, can't go that way. What do you want me to do? Should I just keep going this way or should I go in the other direction towards the bridge that we saw? I kind of want you to go over the bridge. The bridge? Okay. Truth be told. Okay. I'll run back that way. I feel like you're in a dead end here. I feel like they I'm just wondering this. if they, maybe there was a hidden something over here. I'm sure they put this here just to screw with you. For people like me? There's nothing over there but rocks and death. So there's a, this is the bridge. The, the, well, we're back here to the train tracks, and that's where we came from before, where okay. the, the oh, bridge was covering the tracks. Got it. Okay. Can you go across the train tracks? Presumably. So now we're bridge closed. Don't care. Well, guess what? Kids are going to play on this thing. Kids are going to be kids. What am I going to die? Red Creek Valley it seemed, like seemed a quiet, ordinary place. A quiet, ordinary I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. True enough. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. All right, one. now dozens and hundreds of cases are two different things. That. How experienced are you? Because if you've done dozens of cases, you're pretty experienced. You've done hundreds of cases. It's time to retire. Yeah, you probably shouldn't even be alive at this point. Enter. You get in that. Oh. All right, forward, back. Yeah, go forward. Let's clear that. Let's clear that. Uh... Nope, nothing happens. Turn on. Did you it turn on? It says turn off. 
turn it off. I, I did. And so no. All right. No. Maybe broken. maybe we need. Is there a power button? Can we turn the the electrical component to this rusted train on? I feel like there must be more to this than meets the eye. Okay. I like this game so far. It's fucking creepy. It's very creepy. Just wait until the, it turns night and the zombies come out. I hope there's no zombies. I really hope there's no zombies either. It would be cool if it was just a straight up... Just figuring stuff out? Yeah, like just a detective story with the At real At some crime. point, do you think something's going to chase you and you're going to have to just run through the forest and not look behind you? Probably. That'd be annoying. Pretty views, though, huh? Yeah, the vistas. Remember when we played Bloodborne and everyone got really mad at us because we were just looking at the... We were doing the uh, Masters of the Universe? <laughs> I do recall... Born to begin. He's the princess of the universe. You know what's funny is uh, they were also pissed at us because we couldn't figure out how to get out of the intro stage. Yeah, that was another reason to probably be pissed. They at us. were rightfully mad. Totally valid. Oh, so what is this? Cut ties. Unite. Unite ties. It says untied. Tied. No blood. What? Rope. Okay. Huh. That's a junction box of some sort. Yeah. Presumably. Or is that just rope? Was someone tied to the tracks? That's twisted. And hot. No? Not hot, Kevin? Kevin doesn't I can't say anything. Whoa, that's some blood. Inspect. Rest of the corpse. Blood trail. I like how it, tell, it tells you like what he's thinking is. Severed legs. Jesus Christ. That sucks. All right, so let's go over here then. I don't think we're going to like what we find out here. And look. To your right. What? There's oh, the there's man. Blood from legs. Blood from... Do you think he's going to be okay? I think he's dead. I'm almost positive that he's dead. Hmm. Can you look with that? I'm trying to... When I do this, some, is it, it's like some supernatural thing? Well, I can't do it naturally, so I assume it's supernatural. Can you do that? I'm just, it just tells me to hold the X button down. I'm, I, I don't know if there's any more to be done than that. I mean... I think you ultimately just have to figure it out. That's what they were trying to tell you in the beginning. Don't get frustrated. I think that's basically what that message in the beginning meant. Sure, I appreciate that and respect that. A little prompting would let us know. Yeah, I don't Michael, think there's anything. I don't think there's any. Way. I don't think there's anything wrong with a little bit of prompting, but I respect the sanctity of the game. They want to just you just need to figure it out, right? Know? Just like the old days when we were growing up. It's true. It's very true. So should I go down here to the lake? Maybe yeah. Let's go to the lake and see what's up. This mystic lake. Hmm, as far as we can go there. Is there anything over here? I feel like this game is just going to suck me in. Oh yeah, like, you're I'm already, just gonna be I can tell you're already sucked in. I can tell. Because eventually you're going to come to a town and think about all the things you can look at in the town. It's like Twin Peaks. It's exactly like Twin Peaks. Hmm. Let's go this way. I'm intrigued. Are you intrigued? Are you? All, I, can, can I describe you as being intrigued right now? or not? I'm intrigued that you're intrigued. I could play this game for probably 30 minutes before something would need to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's cool, though. I like it. Is someone coming towards you to the left? There's someone... No. Oh, it's, you... a style. it's a sign of some sort. Yeah. There you go. It's just a cross I, like a person. I wish it was. Is it getting darker? Or it's just maybe there's more canopies here, more can tree canopy. I think it's, it's a deeper canopy. Using words that I learned in biology about a trees. canopy formed by thick leaves. What were they called? The biome? The biome. <laughs> Please use that word more. I gotta figure out a way to Please use the word biome. In inject that into your uh, vocabulary, like they used to inject hot dogs. Sure. With cheese whiz. Remember when we, were, we when we went to SGC? Mm -hmm. oh, we God, had those yeah. awesome sausages that were jalapeno and cheddar. Yeah. And I was I, I expressed such such surprise mm. that they could inject liquid cheddar cheese into. A sausage like that, and then cook it, and then it's still liquidy. Like, yeah, it was. I never had anything like it. I don't know if it's just you know I've been growing up in a bubble of sausagelessness. I think no. I think I mean the thing is that 
what we've learned here on Kind of Funny Games every day is that you can't count your sausages before they're hatched. Mm, sure. I've heard uh, that time before. And that if you are... If you think a sausage is only one way, oh brother, you better think again. My other question to you is, what else do they think, do you think they inject into sausages that we're not aware of? Are there other things? Can they put bacon into the sausage? Can they interject that? I mean, there's usually this. I feel like I, f I see the same kind of stuff because I eat. I do eat a lot of sausage, and but it's usually like an Italian sausage, so like fennel and black pepper and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, a little little hit spice to it. Yeah, but I'm sure you can put all sorts of crazy shit into the uh, into the sausage. I'm at a loss here. The music's kind of picking up a little bit. It's beautiful. I just want to keep going down this train track and see what happens. I guess. Yeah. I mean, what else is there to do? The, this I mean, is very can, mysterious. You can go that path. Which one? I mean, it's just the path. That, this one here? I yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we can continue. It seems like it's parallel somewhat. It is. It's running par parallel to the train track. But it's the road less taken. Sure. It's the road less traveled. Robert Frost. Our Frost. What is that? Oh. Have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain worst versions of themselves. Hmm. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. This guy's, a, this guy's a glasses half uh, empty kind of guy. He's very poetic though, which I appreciate. It's beautiful. And words. I think we're going about it the right way so far. I don't think anything's supposed to be happening right now. I don't think so. I think we have to just I'd kind of like explore. Something. You're coming up on a town. Yeah, that's I, exciting. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I predicted this though. Nick. You did predict it. Was right. Nick was right. Hashtag Nick was right. Hashtag Nick was right. I predicted at some point we would interact with the town. I also predict that at some point we'll interact with uh, a non-playable character. You think there's someone else in here? An NPC, as it were. Yeah. So we can continue this way or we can go towards the town. I, so, I assume we should just I go I would like to go toward the town because I'm getting hungry, and so I would like to see if they have any sausage that's been injected with either bacon, uh, cheese Whiz, cheddar cheese, or mayonnaise. Sure, I Could love mayonnaise. you imagine if they, did, if they injected it with mayonnaise? That'd be... Oh, my God. But would then I would... cook well, though? Does I mayonnaise cook well? I don't think so. I was just reflect. The reason I'm going back and forth is I love puddles in games. Yeah, like I, I, nice. I, I, I mean, it's not, it's not the greatest ever, but it, I, I love that shit. It like, adds it's that just, extra touch of realism. Yeah, I like it. You see it here again. I love that. It gets, it always catches you off guard because it, it tricks your brain. You're like, wait, am I in reality? And is my real life a game? No, that's nonsense. No, 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 it doesn't make any sense. It's nonsense. I've seen. Does this level remind you of the bridge level from Goldeneye? A little bit. A little bit. Do you think that at any point in the next five minutes we'll have to bungee cord off of that and Down here. shoot a little grappling hook into the ground and then we'll reel ourselves in? I want to go to that house, too. Well, let's see what's over here first. We have a few houses up here. And to, to answer your question, yes. <laughs> this is creeping the fucking shit out of me, man. So there's some there's some sort of post-apocalyptic vibe to this, too. What he was saying, and I don't know if, it's, you know, if I'm reading into it wrong, but what I think he was saying was that, like, parts of the country have just been abandoned. Presumably this is the United States. He has an American accent. Or it could be Canada, I guess. Um, well, he's a detective, remember, when he was brought here to detect. So maybe he is the world's greatest detective, and this could be Switzerland or... That's true. Some other land. Let's go up here. Netherland. Netherland. The Dutch. Netherlands. So let's see. There's a house here. Creepy little house. Let me go in. Oh, yeah. Is there a note? Oh. Text. I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me. Great Minister Folklore, I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion and cloud their judgment. Seal the path with falsity and guile, and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Aglon Tetragram, Bachian Stimulabendon. I can't read all this. Yeah, they're all just gibberish words. It might be Latin or it might be made up. I don't know. We didn't study Latin or made up. I wanted to take Latin, but I we I could have taken... Oh, oh, Jesus. I mean... Oh, no. All right. Oh! Holy... Oh, Jesus, God. Uh, what is happening? Where are you? I don't know. Wait, it's telling me... So when I approach a... What the fuck? What the shit? This reminds me of Mario, like the last castle of Mario, when you have to go through things in a certain way, or you just get kicked back to the beginning. Right. Oh. In this chance, you only had one shot at that, and the game's over now. Sorry. You, you screwed up. 
Get Ethan into Carter has vanished forever. What happened to Ethan Carter? No one will ever know. What happened to Aaron Carter? He went bankrupt. Did he? Did yeah. Aaron Carter go bankrupt? I believe he did. That's too bad. I believe he did. Got to take care of your money. You really do. Got to get a good financial manager if you're a hip-hop artist. Or a pop artist or a pop star. Whatever the hell he was. I don't know. He was. I would say he's more of a pop star. Right? Was he more pop, he pop, was more artist. pop, yeah. All right. Let's try another house. Because I'm a little confused here. You're confounded. And so I almost don't want to go too far. I almost don't want to spoil it for people. But Well, I mean, I don't think we're going to spoil it. But I feel like by people, you mean you want to shut the camera down and experience this yourself. Yeah, I know basically. you. Yeah, you okay. understand. It's why Greg likes streaming games and I don't. You know, because it's like he just likes to share that experience, and I like to have the experience. You know, to to take it up. Yeah, own. you like to be in a in a dark room with yourself. Maybe you're wearing pants. Maybe you're not. Sure, I'm usually no not. I'm, I'm almost always not wearing pants, as you know. When you because you come here in the morning, sometimes when I wake up, yeah, and I'm just in my boxers, just kind of yeah. doing whatever it is I do. Um, so you understand? Oh, stay warm. Get some wood. This but, also reminds me of an experience that we're gonna have uh, soon on PlayStation Four. Um, everybody's gone to the rapture. Mm. Have you seen anything about that? I have. That game? That game looks this does remind me of that. Yeah. I think it's going to be a pretty similar kind of thing. That's a trip. That game's a trip. That game, I'm really, really excited what about did that. You do? Oh, oh. Uh oh. Whoa. What did you wake up? What the? F Nothing. I found a room. Oh. I walked away. I guess you did. It's gone. I thought maybe I can follow it. I didn't realize it was in the room with me. Hmm. You're very spiritual, this character. They're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. Sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. What's a sleeper? Other than an amazing movie from the 80s. It's not that amazing. No? No. Wasn't it? Robert Redford. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. Sidney oh, Poitier. Oh, good cast. Uh, River Phoenix. Wasn't it? Not Joaquin. River, River Phoenix, yeah. Yeah, his older brother. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I wonder what would have been with River Phoenix. He would have been a megastar. You think so? Yeah. He was already on his way to being huge. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to some happen. Some books, some knowledge here. I mean, I think this kid started it. This is creeping me out. It's really creepy. Look at that Look at that chair. No human being would sit in a chair like that. Only the sleeper would sit in this chair. All right. Let's go explore just for a few more minutes. I feel like the sun's going down. But I don't know if the, I don't know if I'm just reading into that too. I, maybe there's no there's probably you want no, there to probably be a day no, night cycle. But I'd love for that to be. I think there is. It's just going to be at a key moment, probably when you're one of these creepy sellers and you come out and it's just nighttime and the sleeper's there with you. He's about to put you in the sleeper hold. This has a little bit. This has a little bit of a. You talk about the seller and the person appearing. This has a little bit of a Blair Witch kind of thing yeah, going on. Yeah, it does. On. It does. Nothing wrong with that. I love how open it is. Like you can just go wherever you want. Yeah. I don't know. Should we wrap it up here? Sure. I mean, I feel like you should... I'll, I'll leave you. You stick with this game. You play it for another 15 to 30 hours. <laughs> Nick, and, leave me. And just let you know. <laughs> just let me know what happens. I'm excited. I think we've seen enough. I think I, this has certainly piqued my interest. I hope that it's piqued folks' interest at home as well because um, I think there's something probably going to be pretty special about this game. But who knows? Maybe I'll hate it. Maybe I'll love it even more. I don't know. I'll probably play it tonight after everyone goes home. Nick. Colin. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Everyone out there, thank you for joining us. This was... The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which you can play on your PC or your PlayStation 4. At least as of, as of the time of recording of this Let's Play. Maybe it'll be on other things in the future. Maybe if you're watching this in a couple of years from now, it'll be on something else. Uh, adventure game, well, a detective game. Doesn't hold your hand, doesn't tell you anything. No on-screen prompts. I like that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Probably missed something along the way. Uh, but I'll keep playing it and maybe update you guys in the future. Remember, new Let's Plays on Kind of Funny Games right here on YouTube every weekday at noon. So we'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.